have not been making public statements in the last few years. Maybe I will soon. Maybe I'll be soon speaking out on matters of public concern. The point I'm making now is of public concern, but I'll be saying a, a lot more on matters of public concern. But when I do, I will then address a few issues that concern our nation in various fields. Let me address one point. This is a point about leadership. I repeat the points made by one professor called Tom Coyne, an American professor who actually addressed this question of leadership and his conclusions are consonant with my own experience. At the most basic level, we need to distinguish between dominance and leadership. In some groups, a dominant individual will seize power and assert control. This is the world of animal herds. You know, that's what happens with animals out there in the field. Of palace intrigue, you've heard what is happening in the Sudan. Authoritarian dictatorships and mafia families that we hear of in Stephen Shebedi's country, America, and Europe, and maybe here. A dominant individual seizes power and exercises control. However, while these situations all make for great television, dominance isn't leadership. I want to repeat this. Dominance is not leadership. And those who praise powerful leaders do so in ignorance of what actually happens or what needs to happen for societies or families to progress. Over the years, I have become more focused on the nature of leadership as a relationship an honor that is bestowed upon a person by followers who are willing to place their trust in them. The key question thus becomes, what are the qualities in a person that cause others to trust him or her with the leadership of their group? Hopefully, sooner than later, I will be able to speak. Um, I've been uh, quiet, deliberately, really, going over issues, um, and when I am ready, I'll come out.